What's the chat and chows? GHB Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White Yes Lock. In the last episode, we adventured around in Bassa City. We went to the Pokemon Music Hall, the big stadium. And we went on a Ferris wheel with N2. Ooh. And in today's episode, we are going to go to, uh, guess we're going to take on the gym. We might also see if the small court is available for us to take on someone in the small court too. So I can get to show that off, off uh, on screen too. Anyway, uh, before we go any further, I need to remember to go into this house and talk to this guy. Wait, no, 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 it's not... Okay, it's not that guy. It's the it's the other house. It's the other house. It's one of these houses. It's... Is it this house? And it's this guy. It's a battle guy. Yo! Experience feeling uh, like a powerful man. It's your four strength. A Pokemon uh, that can use strength can push a big rock even when it's not fighting. Why don't you try and push some rocks around Route 16? Thump, thump. Okay, they don't tell you... So literally, there's no reason for you to go and talk to that guy. So they literally don't tell you that guy exists. So the strength is one of the most irrelevant HMs in the entirety of black and white. So... And you don't really need it for progress. This is one of the reasons why 5th Gen is just weird. And I don't really particularly like it. You know, the HMs are not necessary. You, like, need cut, like, once, and that's it. You can use strength, you can use surf, but they literally only benefit you if you want to get to places you don't need to get to for Story 9, or you want to make places quicker to get through, say, Victory Road. If you do the strength puzzles, it only takes you, like, all five minutes to get through Victory Road. But you don't have to do them at all. Which is the weird thing about it. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get on to things. Team preview. That's the bike jump. Okay, so let's do some explaining. If you watch the very end of the last episode, which you might not do due to my watch time and viewer attention, people might not watch the very end of the videos, or might even just watch about 90 seconds of my video. I don't know. I don't really look at the metrics. It's probably why I still do YouTube, because if I did, I'd probably be a bit annoyed by all of it. Anyway, we have Becky. Becky is an S Cavalier. How is best? Becky and S Cavalier, you watch the uh, you watch uh, the end of, of the last video to find that out in the little grinding montage. Then you'll find out how Becky's an S Cavalier. Now the things I didn't tell you guys is I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't actually remove trade evolutions on this ROM. And since it's impossible to trade using emulators, especially the Zoom A, it might it is actually possible with VGB and uh, no cash GBA, but like it's not possible with Dezume, as far as I know. So with this in mind, what I have done is I made a randomizer where I have removed trade evolutions, named the save file, that exact name that I called the randomizer, uh, the randomized ROM, sorry, and it evolved Becky. Because a Becky evolves by having a Kerabla a shell net in the party. The and also so evolves by having a shell net in the party and leveling up once. So that's exactly what I did. I leveled it up once and had shell net in the party. And now we have an S Cavalier. Transfer the save file back over to this save file uh, to this ROM, renamed it and everything, and now we have Becky. So that's what I did in the last episode. Dude. Dude. In the very... You know, in the grinding montage. And as you read... If we look into the Squalified Pokemon box of my uh, Pokemon uh, Center. In someone's PC. Not the Hell box. For the Squalified Pokemon box. We have Pussy. Our... Uh, Pussies. Our... Um, female Excelgore, which ha was an adamant nature with early bird, had self rocks, 
Poison Fang, Whirlwind, and Secret Power. And then we have our Eddies, or Eddie, our uh, male XL Gore, level 13, uh, Careful Nature with Insomnia for the ability, Twister, Smackdown, Smog, and Stealth Rocks. So we had a male XL Gore and a female XL Gore. They got it on. Oh yeah, they got it on. And they produced Danny, the offspring. Danny is level 1, has rough skin for the ability, is a shell net, and has raw, rapid spin, stealth rocks, and pursuit. Whilst on my way back, I also found Criminal. Criminal has trace for the ability, an impish nature, has bubble, uh, thunder wave, flail, and confuse ray, and is level 17. It is not allowed because I'd already had my encounter on Route 4, but the fact is, it's just a cool thing and I catch my mascot whenever I see it. And that's basically all that happened in that little grinding montage. I don't think anyone else gained levels. I really hope not, but um, I guess I'll go through them right now. Shox is also level 29 with Psy Shock, Flamethrower, Bug Buzz and Electro uh, Icicle Crash. Then we have Backpack Level 28 with Aeroblast, Hex, Blue Flare, and Slash. Uh, we have uh, Shady, our uh, uh, Deli Bird, with Electro Web, Swagger, Flocade, Brick Break. Doesn't, Shady doesn't learn any more moves by a level up, so I'm hoping I get some good TMs that Shady can learn, really, because otherwise Shady's effectiveness is going to start running out very quickly. Then we have Jessica, level 28, uh, Razor Shell, Double Hit, Aerial Ace, and Low Sweep. Then we have Driller, level 28, Hot Stamp, Dragon Dance, Steel Wing, and Sharpen. And that is the team. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the team. Let's go and take it on a gym. But before we do that, let's take a look at my TMs. I have Shadow Claw. And I believe, yes, Driller can learn it. Also, Jessica can learn it, but again, I'm not sure it's useful on Jessica. But I want to get rid of Sharpen for uh, uh, Shadow Claw. Uh, is there anything else I want? I mean, Cross Shot would be cool. Anyone learn that? Uh, Jessica can, Becky can, Driller can. Who is the better Pokemon with the move? Let's look at stats. All right, 80 attack. Ooh, you'd be good with it. And I really want to get rid of Cut. I really wish the move deletion was available yet, but it isn't. I might get rid of Cardo Chop for Cross Chop, actually. Because it's a better move. So who else could learn it? Jessica. Jessica was one of them. Uh, it's better than low sweep. So that's a thing. And she's plus attack. So I guess that could work. And Driller. Is hot stamp physical? It is. And so is Steel Wing. But Steel Wing is stab. And hot stamp can fall... You know what? I'm probably not going to teach it you. Because I kind of like your moveset at this moment in time. If you had a ground type move, I would love you. But you don't have a ground type move just yet. And I don't really want to teach you mud shot. Which is the only ground type move you could learn. You know, so not the best idea. But I will teach cross chop to Jessica, and I will teach it to a Becky as well. So that's what I will do. Get rid of low sweep. There we go. I think that's it. Mud shot is a ground type move. Can anyone learn it? It's a special ground type move. Um, no one can learn it. Okay. Mud Slap is a special ground type move as well, and I also have that. 
And the only person who can learn that is Backpack and Jessica. And I have better move. Like, honestly, it's not that good. It's power 30, so it's awful, really, when you think about it. Anyway, let's go and take on a gem and a small course. My job is done here. Let's go and take on the... Let's go and see if the small court is available for me to take on. Because I'm recording at a different time in the day that I was recording in the last time. It's also a different day, so... I guess I'm not recording at a different time in the day. I guess I can't take on the small court right now. Can I go into the big stadium? What's going on in the big stadium right now? Oh, football's there! Football's, uh, football practice is on at the big stadium right now. Okay. Um, I mean, it's the Super Bowl this Sunday, so, uh, you know. That could be cool. I'm not an NFL fan, uh, but, uh, like, I mean, I am a... I, like, I've watched NFL from time to time. I'm British, by the way, so... I don't really uh, get yours. I don't really get NFL. I've been trying to learn it for the past couple of years. It's really hard, especially with all the flag, the rules of flags and stuff like that, and the coaches' challenges and stuff like that. It's just really hard to learn. So yeah, NFL is not really my thing. I'm more into things like soccer and rugby, which, uh, by the way, the Six Nations is on right now. Come on, England. You know, so, you know, I cheer England for the Six Nations, uh, for the rugby and stuff like that, like that. I guess if I had a team that I would probably pick for the NFL, I mean, I would probably say I'm a Jets fan, but, like, really, I don't really have, like, a reasoning behind why I'd be a Jets fan or anything like that. So, you know, I'm not really into your sport, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say that, I really am. So, before you go at me in the comment section, you know, please be feel, actually, please feel free to go at me in the comment section if you're, uh, if you're an NFL fan. Go at me in the comment section if that's what you want to do. How did you live? Well, I was level 28. I was level 29. Okay, that was a bit of a glitch there. I'm guessing it was probably because I'm transferring ROMs. Uh, save files over, but that happened. Okay, so just ignore that. That I was level 20 second, uh, level 27 for a couple of seconds, and then I leveled up to level 28, and then level 29, and now I'm almost level 30. So just ignore all of that because I, I was level 29. So just ignore all of that because I just don't know what the hell happened there. Okay, so let's go and take on a gym since we've done the big, we've shown off NFL at the big stadium. We still can't show off the small court yet, uh, so I guess we'll just take on a gym. There's not very much else we can do in Nimbasa City unless I record later in the day. Which is not going to happen because I'd like to record in the morning. And because there's no one here, I can't ride the Ferris wheel again. Because you have to ride the Ferris wheel with someone. Hey, the vending machine's working. Just excuse me a sec whilst I buy vending, uh, whilst I buy lemonades. Good thing that it actually stays on this option, so I can just press the spoofer speed button and actually just buy lemonades whilst I'm talking to you guys because like I'm gonna need lemonades. 
Let me get down to 45,000. Yeah, let me get down to 45,000 and then see where we go from there. So I'm just going to keep on doing this. Buy lemonade. Buy lemonade. Buy lemonade. Below 45,000, I should say. Buy lemonade. And one more. Okay. Okay, how many lemonades did that buy me? That bought me 20. That bought me 20. And lemonades are actually good in this game because they do 80 HP, not 70 like they do in 7th gen. Let's go to the gym. Hey, Clyde. How about it? I can see your surprise. Would you... Uh, would you ever have guessed that this gym is a roller coaster? Well, okay, I'll fill you in. Please take this. We got fresh water. This gym is a roller coaster. Uh, the first step is to get on the car. Next comes the platform. There you can change the tracks that the roller coaster is going on. Sometimes. You continue riding by beating trainers that are already in cars. Try to aim to get for the gym leader. By the way, electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground type moves. But this is a randomizer, so you don't need to worry about that. So just have fun. So basically, we ride the roller coaster, we get to the platform. Riding the roller coaster allows us to get to platforms, and if we step on switches on the platforms, we can change the tracks. And by doing that, we can get to the gym leader. We can also battle people. We will also have to battle people to get them out of their carts, so that they take, uh, so that we take, can take their cart and go and take on the gym leader that way too. That does nothing to me. I'm a bug type Pokemon. Okay, so Perugly coming in. I've got a switch. That's the rules. Jessica! Let's see that cross chop in action. Okay, Jessica, you can do this. Cross chop it. Why do you have that secret sword? I mean, it does nothing, but like, still. Well, you've lived. I don't know how. Probably because Jessica's attack stat is really bad and it's not stab. Yay, Jessica gets us to level 29. All right, cool. Yeah, it's not stab on Jessica, and Jessica's attack stat is not great, so it doesn't really help. But it's cool. Nonetheless, it is still cool. I thought I missed the train then. Now we're over here. Alright, so what are we going to do? So let's talk about other things whilst we're getting through this gym, but we don't need to talk about the gym. So, on s on Thursday, I went to a gig. I went to a I went to a gig on Thursday, and that's why videos were late on Friday, because, you know, it took me a while to get back into my process of recording, because the fact is, I went on a gig. And I enjoy very much enjoyed my gig. Uh, I went to go and see Evil Scarecrow in t at the Tiv in Buckley. Uh, which is a place here in the UK, uh, which is actually in Wales, actually, to be precise. But, like, it's it's very rural, and uh, there's been a lot of snow lately. So, yeah, just imagine walking in the snow and possibly almost slipping is what you are imagining for me and my family. Yeah. The walk there to the uh, to the club was not, uh, from where I was staying was not great. And uh, then we went 
to uh, then we went to the event the event was very good i very much enjoyed the event as we can see this person's riding a uh, the roller coaster and we need to get in his car and in order to do that we need to beat him so the event was very good i very much enjoyed the event we uh, saw a couple of bands before the main event of evil scarecrow uh, came on and those bands were well it started off with footprints in the custard and yes the band name is weird and uh, it just got weirder throughout the night uh they had like if you've never heard of footprints in the custard i do suggest you go and search them up on uh i do suggest you go and search them up on your social media platforms or on the internet because they have very very weird go and listen to some of their music on spotify hey because they have like very weird songs they have a song about like gail platt and angelie harriet uh uh yeah i know i just what i just said i know it sounds weird but just go with me on this it's a very weird song it's called gail platter it's just a very weird song uh, so if you know coronation street you'll know who gail platt is if you're british you'll know who angelie harriet is yeah and you know from there you'll know, understand where i'm going with this So, yeah. It's a very weird... Uh, it's a very, very weird thing. Anyway, so that happened. It was, ver uh, it was very, very... Uh, Footprints in the Custard were very enjoyable. Very weird, but very enjoyable too. And I think that it, they were a pretty cool band in my books. Um... They, uh, like, they came out to Thomas the Tank Engine as their intro song, and they also, halfway through the show, decided to um, strip off. I may get demonetized for saying the word strip. But I don't monetize my videos anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I get demonetized or not, because I don't care. But anyway, yeah. Uh, they decided to strip off our, like, strippers, uh... Uh, halfway through their set and there was people in tutus people in kilts people in lots of other different things it was very very weird one of them had a mankini on alabora so yeah that's just very weird and then they continued like not uh, they continued their set like nothing had just happened you know like this like that's normal because it's not but you know they just continued because it's very weird and then we went and saw 10 foot wizard uh, which were an interesting band to say the least um they hike hot uh, just for about the final song they decided uh, uh the lead singer of their uh, of the band decided hey you know what would be you know what would make this even more weird if i i don't know sang into a uh, sang into a bird so he had a microphone shaped like a bird. So, yeah. Anyway, here's Elisa. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemons will be the next to make your head spin. Zoe! All right, a lower molar to start. I mean, I don't really have too much for you. You're big and bulky and... Ugh. Just... Ugh. Yeah. That's all I need to say about a lower molar. It's just, ugh. I mean, I'm been hitting the cross chops. I'm gonna have to hit. I'm gonna have to ice fang you now, which is possibly gonna provoke you into healing, isn't it? Yeah, there's the heals. 
Uh, let's see how much I'm doing to you with Ice Fang. Not a lot, I will admit. Not a lot. Alright, is there anyone else who might be able to take this uh, out rather quickly? I mean, I'm going to go into shocks. I'm going to go into shocks. You have physical... You have special defense, right, Fox? Yeah, you have special defense. Right. Okay, I'm going to go Psy Shock. But Psy Shock is based on your defense stats, so... Wow, that does nothing as well! Uh, Bubba's? Okay, that was a crit. That was a crit. Cannot judge damage based on crits, but I will take it nonetheless. And you decide to heal. Okay, this will be a good way of judging damage. Um, I do damage. I'm going to have to heal. And there's the confusion. Now I have to switch. Okay, who has special defense? Your special defense is 49. How are you living these attacks? Um... I really don't actually have anyone with special defense. I mean, I guess Jessica? Now, don't confuse me. I should have healed Jessica before starting this. Thank God Cross Shop here. But you did, but you live again. I'm gonna, I have to, I. Um. I think I live another water pulse here. Yeah. Okay, it's dead. Becky Chris level 31. Shocks for level 30. And uh, someone wants to learn Dynamic Punch. I have to learn it. Oh, Shocks wants to learn Dynamic Punch. Um, I don't really want to learn it, but... Icicle Crash? The rule state, I have to learn it. Stantler. Oh, I'd love to stay in and cross chop, but I can't rule state that I have to switch. And I'm out of cross chops on Becky. Um, I'm going to go Driller. I'm going to go Driller. Now, if you don't have a ground or fire type move, I'm okay to stay in here. And I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. Why do you have to have a f special fighting type move? I mean, I have to heal. I wasn't expecting your Aura Spear. Do you want to not do that? I can't hit. I can't live two. I can't live two. Backpack? I mean, your special defense is okay, I guess. 
blue flare this thing. Retaliate! I mean, heal, 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 heal. For the love of God, don't use retaliate again. For the Cade. I mean, even that does damage. I can't live any of this. Okay, that did nothing. Um... And there's the Aura Spear again! Okay, it's dead. I mean, I have to switch into Shady. Luminion. Thank God this thing is weak to electric type moves. Shaggy, get in here. Okay, it's the most irrelevant fish in the world. You've been forewarned about my brick breaks. But you'd know I'm probably going to use it. Come on, this is not the time. There we go, Shady. Oh my god, that does nothing! And you have an electrical attack too! Um, I'm gonna heal. Shady, you can't miss Electro Webs. That did knife damage, lowest speed, good. I'm gonna have to heal again. Because I just don't take these hits. If only someone had Volt Absorb. Yeah, if only someone had Volt Absorb. Sadly, no one does. And I can't... I mean, the only Pokemon I could bring in is Shocks, because Shocks is the same level. Oh. I mean, I guess I could bring in you, but, like, he's got Icicle Crash too! And that hurts you! I'm gonna have to heal. That was a crit! Now I have to heal again! How about you don't do that? Right. Since you decided to go back to Icicle Crash, I might be able to hit another Electro Web. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! I did not kill it. I left on four! I did not kill it! Heart stamp! Okay. Okay, thank you, Driller. Okay. That was some scary...
scary stuff. Oh my. E. Uh, oh me, oh my. Uh, you're such a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me. I mean, here. How much do you have this? We got the bolt badge and probably Elisa's phone number. No, 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 probably not. Oh, never mind. Just the bolt badge. Just the bolt badge. If you have the bolt badge, Pokemon to level 50 will obey you in battle, including those ones from traded Pokemon. Uh, feel free to use this if you want. Dragon Rush. Okay, I want. She's telling me about Volt Switch. Uh, do you want to go to Driftvale City next? Of course, there's a Pokemon gym there after all. Uh, I bet you won't be able to get there. Uh, but you know what? I'll fix it so you can cross. Wait for me on Route 5. Um, okay, I'm going to go and heal. And then we're going to end today's episode. But before we do, who can learn Dragon Rush? Oh, well, this is a great move. The accuracy is kind of awful, but, like, it's still a good move. And I think it would be better than Dynamic Punch. Because Dynamic Punch is great if it hits. Because if it hits and the Pokemon lives the hit, it gets confused. But it's got to live the hit. And... You could never tell if the thing lives, the, if it's going to live the hit or not. It's going to live the hit. So you, it's just, and you can also with 50% accuracy, you don't even know if you're going to hit half the time. So it's not a great move. I wouldn't suggest dynamic punch, really. I'd suggest any other move over it. Anyway, this is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. In the next episode, we will continue on. We're going to go and see what Route 5's like. We're going to go to Route 16. We're going to get our... Um, uh, we're going to get our, uh, you know, Pokemon for the Lost Loin Forest. Oh, wait. Uh, I, know, I, know there's, I know there's something to do with Team Plasma coming up, so I'm not going to be dealing with that. I think there might be something to do with Team Plasma coming up. Either way, let's heal. And uh, so that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Actually, let's see if there's uh, something to do with Team Plasma coming up. I could still, I've got time. Actually, I don't, but like I just kind of want to see. No, there's nothing with Team Plasma. We're fine. Route 5 is in the next episode. Oh, we can finally take on... Uh, oh my god, we can finally take on the Small Court! Okay, basketball. Really cool and all. Just wanted to show off the Small Court at least once. And there's a trainer here. So, I'll show him off too. I just wanted to show off the small court once. That's all. Let me kill this new arena. Which we definitely will do with Becky. Might not one shot because it's level 27. Why do you have to please kick? Switch out immediately. Why? This game! This game does not like Becky. Thank you, Shocks. Anyway. There you go. There's a small court. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Just Be It's Games. Mean to love Pokemon. Get to the sir. Everybody at Pokemon. Let's go!
Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at JoesPHGames, where you'll find out when I upload next. Also, if you want to see some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this end card. So, until next time, I'm JoesPHGames, and I am out. See you again.